Now we got Marco Lara, Army team guy. Chu Jin Lee from China. China. Lars looked pretty tough this tournament, wouldn't you say? Lars kind of on a two on one. I think he's going to come into an arm drag. No, he's working that two on one hard. Lee posting that head pretty hard, able to shove out of there. Good position by Marco Lara fighting off the body lock attempt. Kind of a weak high dive attempt from Lee. There you go. One of his own. A lot of counter wrestling going on right now. Yeah, nice little exchange there, but neither wrestler able to get inside. So we need to win the position with the hands and the head. about 15 seconds remaining before we go into that 30 second Greco Partier if nobody scores here. For no, act, for no scoring there's definitely a lot of action early on here. And we will go to Partier. He's going down, Lara on top, Lara has to score. He looks determined here. Looks like he's got a headlock locked up. That's able to two, get the two. But it's going to be a reverse on a 2 2. He held him. So it will be 2 2. Lee I'm will sure have. I don't believe he held him for five. Lee has the advantage being that his two scored last. Kind of frustrating that it came from Mark Alera's own attempt. And yeah, close to giving up more he back there. Finish it. Started good. And then too well. Nice defensive hold there for Lee. That's why you can't let it go to the parterre there, you know? Yeah. Watching the Chinese coach leave that towel. I wonder if anybody's ever been hurt with the way he snaps that. Get hit in the eye, kind of like a rat tail. Extra motivation. Lara's fighting for position. Notice he's kind of getting unbalanced. He's overextended with his left leg. Yeah, Lee looks real strong in there. He's just not. Well, he's a lot more square. I mean, you got Lara's just leading deep with that left leg. But at least give him credit. He's trying to get in there. Yeah. He's being the offensive wrestler here. these guys trained with each other over the training session before the Dave Schultz because they both seem to be executing or trying to execute the same moves. And basically right now it's been that two on one or an arm train. Well you know that could have happened with a lot of our wrestlers here because there's been a lot of really tight matches going on. Not a lot of offense from the feet. Yeah. About 20 seconds before we hit that 30 second mark here. Looks like we've got a third period match going over there on mat one. But we will go to parterre here. This time Lara will be down. Let's see if he can stop Lee's offense here. 
Ooh, Bitterman looks like he got pushed out there. Here back in our mat, um, Mark Alera's got to constantly move, try to break that, roll over that um, grip. Try to break the grip, and he's not moving. Dan get exposed there. Oh, this is close. Close. They're going to give him two. Both the chairman and the judge white paddle. So still 0 0, no score. Short time here. We're going to go on to the third. Five. Five. Third the period here. One thing's for sure Lara is a lot more flexible than I am. <laughs> I don't think that's very hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm just giving myself backhanded compliments here. Well, I'll, I'll roll along with you on that one. Oh, there you go. Okay. He's not quite as muscular, though. That's the trade off. Oh, he is a lot more thinner, too. Mm hmm. He hasn't got that old man adage. He does have more hair, though. It's on yeah. Age it sucks. <laughs> Well, the only good thing about getting old is that it means you're still alive. It's a good way of looking at it, I guess. I wouldn't know. Was it? I wouldn't know. About getting old? Yeah. Uh, give yourself about 12 more years. <laughs> All those wrestling injuries, you start feeling them. Oh, I feel them now. And it doesn't get any better. Well, that's for sure. Um, well, back to wrestling, third period action. Yeah, we were talking about wrestling, just injuries. <laughs> I right, see if Flair could keep a better position here. I know when he's kind of getting knocked off balance there, I think he's trying to attempt some kind of a slide by to a high dive, but really can't get deep enough. Lee. Lee. Well, there you have the official telling Blue head up. We got an official calling for Lee, but he's referring to Lee McKay, which is the head of FEMA official here. That and was a beautiful arm drag by Shushin. I dream of doing arm drags like that. Lee not able to improve himself here from the top position. Once again, there is only down 1-0, but he scores. He'll be in the advantage. And Lara's got about 50 seconds here. Still anybody's match right now. One point will decide it. Laura with that high dive attempt, he circles out. He's been trying that all match, can't get in there. Lee just staying real defensive, real short arms. Twenty-five seconds on the clock. It's time for Laura to just try something here. He's got 15 seconds. Half-hearted arm throw. Tries a high dive. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to get anything going. And Shushin Lee will take this match in the third period 1-0. And he will move on to the third place match.